talk to animals. I want to marry Discord. Want to marry Discord? Want to marry Discord? Want to marry Discord? So I stole it. I actually did. That's 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 Nick Hawkwood's car seat in my car. He's not getting it back. So, I come with the advantage of actually knowing Nick Confalone, the writer for this episode. Something that is unique so I can tell all of you to shut up. So while everyone's freaking out about the tone of that line that you know I'm reacting to, and I'm here, you know, sipping my tea and being like, I know things that you don't know. Ha 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 ha. We'll get to the rest of the episode in a bit. So when I've discussed Celestia Chord and Flutter Chord with Nick, he doesn't really seem to have a preference, but he does think that little girls who ship Discord and Fluttershy are cute. Cute little girls who don't know any better. And stupid, but they're, they they don't know any better, it's okay. From my understanding, Nick was writing this in two ways. First, the Angel is just saying that to be a troll. To mess with Fluttershy when she is not there. That's his personality. He does that. That's what Nick said. I told you so, I told you so. The second reason, in context, for this comment is Angel's nature in general. He's a sarcastic, annoying little prick who's jealous when Fluttershy spends any attention to things that are not him. That's what half this episode is about. Did you notice? I talk to animals, I want to marry Discord. So Angel's comment is his way of throwing shade to Fluttershy for choosing to spend time with Discord. Ever. Because it's not him. Because he's a prick. Now get out of my house! Out of this house! Out of this house! The rest of this episode is a Freaky Friday plot. You know, two characters are switching bodies to see what it's like to live through the other's perspective. The twist here is that Angel isn't used to being heard from anyone who isn't Fluttershy, as confusing as that is. His personality so far has just been inferred by visual cues. Heck, I'm not even sure anyone but Fluttershy understands just how much of a jerk he is. So to actually hear him talk is amusing. Am I a pony? Why am I a pony? Seriously? I'm a pony? La 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 la. Talking is so cool. <laughs> You're crazy! It was fun. I liked it. The other aspect of Fluttershy, as Angel, can't really do much of anything. She needs her own body to do her chores, so Angel has to actually care about something else. Or else things die. He's a murderer. It's canon. It's confirmed. The episode starts with Fluttershy having a support group for all her animals. So like, what do the predators eat if they can't eat the herbivores? Does anyone know? Are they vegan? But of course, Angel just wants attention. He messes things up. Zakora then comes along to be like, here's my gecko, do you want to buy some car insurance? Also, I will fix your interpersonal relationships. Um, snakes don't have jawbones, by the way. They can't chew cookies. I know that. Good job, Nick. Cause I've touched a snake before. That's what she said. That's what she said. That's what she said. That's how they can eat things that are bigger than them, because they don't have any jaw bones. They also don't eat wheat or like anything that could be in the cookies. Okay. A anyway, Angel and Fluttershy keep on butting heads. So Sakura is like, I fix. They drink a potion and now they're different people. Oh no. So we're stuck like this? Angel is really excited about talking to people, but not about doing chores. Fluttershy has to stare to get anything done, which I think is funny. You can still do that? Ugh, no fair making me do your bidding against my will. It kind of works, but Angel's sarcastic the whole way there. See how shy I am? <laughs> See earlier in this review, he half-asses the chores and puts the animals in danger because he's an asshole. Meanwhile, Fluttershy gets to Sakura, and then Sakura tells her to go back. Well... That was worth it. Good job, Fluttershy. You did a useless thing in this episode. Twilight also does not help. Sorry, Angel. You should probably find Fluttershy. Meanwhile, in Angel's negligence, he screws up royally. Good thing that this is a cartoon or that elephant might be dead. Just might. Uh, murder is magic. After Fluttershy spends all her energy coming back and getting the keys from the elephant and the snake, Wow, that's a lot of animals. But then Fluttershy collapses, and she gonna die. But it works out. 
and then Angel realizes that he's been a butt this whole time. And Angel realizes how much she loves Fluttershy and it's really cute and I love it. Anyway, they both empathize about how hard everything is for each other and that fixes everything. And that's the magic word, I guess. They switch back. And turns out you just got a hot deal on your insurance all thanks to Zakora. Get it, hot deal. Get it, because the gecko breathes fire. The, am I funny now, mom? I really like this episode. This is a standard television plot where two characters switch bodies to realize how much harder the other character's life is, and then they empathize with each other, and then they get together, and then they bond, I guess. The highlight of this episode is how Angel voices himself via Fluttershy, and just how fun that is to watch. Angel has always been a fun character just because of how offbeat his sense of humor is. Now that you know the context of that Fluttercore joke audience, thank god I know people. We can calm down about it. It's just Angel being a butt. Thanks Angel, I hate you. Now excuse me, I think it's rabbit season. And that's all folks, except it's not time for the ending gag. Like, seriously, I, I can't I can't find anything what am I looking for? Ah! Oh my god! A giant monster! Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. Click here to subscribe, we really appreciate it. Don't forget to turn your notifications on to get notified every time we make a new video. Click here to check out the main collaborator for the video, usually the editor. Click here to check out our video playlist for this video, where you'll find similar videos that you might just like, hopefully. There's also a credit scroll here where you can check out all the other awesome contributors. All their info is in the description. That's all I gotta say, KP away!